Hi, I'm Anna Marie Jones and I'm here with my colleague Lars Eric Holm and we'd like to show you CARD's Incident Command System for Community Responders Wonderfile and contrast it to the way it looks when you're trying to respond using a disaster response binder. And binders are a great repository for information, but they're very difficult for the implementation piece. So let's look now at CARD's Incident Command System for Community Responders packaged in the Wonder file. If you watch late night TV, you're familiar with these wonderful tools. This system puts out all of your disaster response tools right in front of you in a highly visual manner. What Lars Eric is reaching for now is the name tag piece. It's a name tag and clipboard. If you're the person who's going to be the incident commander, the person in charge, you're going to put that top name tag around your neck and that will identify you to everyone in the community. And everyone will know that that's your responsibility, you're part of the management team. But what's most important about this is that on the back side of this name tag, it says you are in charge and it lists the major topics that you're going to need to address and we did that for all of the major positions inside the incident command structure. We recommend that agencies do a one-page cheat sheet and put it inside each one of those pouches and that way your newest, greenest person, the person who has maybe the, the least experience with this entire response or your agency would still be able to step up and do the right thing. And that's incredibly important for people being able to do this well. In the two see-through pouches, we have whistles and flashlights, and in the second pouch, there's the incident command wallet card. Lars Eric is reaching into the pouch and pulling out some of the key things. We have zip-top bags. That's a cling. That is basically a portable whiteboard. He's unfolding it, and we'll show you what it looks like when you stick it to a wall. It sticks by static electricity, but it's a portable whiteboard. So when you're doing your planning section and you're coming up with your timeline, say for a shelter in place for our experience, you clearly mark out each piece of that experience and people will put their post-it notes up and you will come up with an incredibly good on the run plan. There's also dry erase markers and our favorite tool is the post-it note. We teach people post-it note planning so that they can do a highly engaged session and help everyone to know exactly what's happening and how the response will play out. We use a lot of simple office supplies to make preparedness easy on everyone. We put a lot of effort into rewriting the incident command system for community responders so that any nonprofit, faith agency, or or small business would be able to use the system and speak using the same language as our emergency response partners. We really are looking to support having all communities have response be this easy, this visual, and really take that level of stress away from people. This is part of our GoFundMe, Go Fear Free campaign, and thank you so much for supporting us.